to all my haters. Come here, let me rock with you real quick. Let me talk to you. Slap. That's how I got to rock right now. Now go on the corner and listen to 6922 and Coy LeRae albums, nigga. That's how I got to come up in here immediately, nigga. Slapping things down. Now, we want to talk about FL Dussel, nigga. Straight up, bro. That's how I got to rock, man. I know you don't love it, but you got to like it a lot. Now, we want to talk about him because we seeing the transition that he making, and we got to call it how it is, man. Now, we seen a lots of artists come out, man, and we seen them come out time and time, and they didn't put their craft to work, and they didn't start dropping, you know, videos and music like hotcakes. Now, this nigga has released, I'm trying to say, around about a good eight, nine videos. God damn. You know what I'm saying? This nigga been releasing more music than a nigga can release. So, hey, look, man. If you see this nigga around here and he in mansions and he's sitting up here and he doing whatever he doing, flashing money, that's what he's supposed to do. You know how long this nigga been locked up? I'm just saying, bro. Ain't no D-riding, bro. This is just real talk, man. And this is what we try to say for the oppositions and we try to say for everybody. We want to see everybody doing this type of energy, whether you're making art music or not. Nigga, you got to keep your foot on your fan's neck. Straight up. Something like how I do when I drop these videos on all my haters, man. Straight up, nigga. Because that's how I got to do it, man. I know that if I don't, that these niggas going to breathe. And that's what I'm saying. You can't let them breathe, bro. You got a fan base to feed. You got to keep feeding them, bro. And that's real talk, man. You got to come with some quality, man. And that's what Dussa been doing. So now you're seeing him switch the flow up. You're seeing him going to, you know what I mean, basically his Fredo Bane formula, bro. You see how Fredo got out. He dropped street songs. And then, you know, shoes on the roof and all. Then he came with the ooh. You see what I'm saying? Try to make it like it was an IG clip. We see what you're doing, nigga. And then he went viral. And then he made it a song. Because people wanted it to be a song, nigga. So that's what I'm saying. You got to do something for the females, and you got to cater to your whole fan base is all I'm saying, brother. Make a long story short, nigga. Know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell you while you're reading Harry Potter and all of this, and you're sitting up here reading all of these weird books, nigga. You need to be reading up on your craft, and you need to be reading up on what you should be doing to better yourself and better your whole thing and your whole outlook, dog. And that's real talk because he taking his formula dog what i say when i mean the fredo bane formula is how he just switching it up and doing something for his whole fan base bro and then he dropping music constantly not giving nobody time to really digest the rest of the music and that's not a bad thing you know what i'm saying because we dealing with microwave hip-hop you know, as of right now. And I'm not saying that it's not good or nothing like that, nigga. I'm saying Hot Pockets is good, and I ain't hungry and nothing. I'm just saying, nigga, that's just a comparison. I'm just saying, bro, we just saying that they not taking it to, well, they just sitting with it for a whole month and a half, one song. They're not doing that. It's listen to it three times, and then it's on to the next. Nigga trying to listen and see what niggas going to say about the next nigga for real, for real. And that's where the game getting messed up. You see what I'm saying? Because then niggas can't get their riches. They can't feed their family because you niggas is the ones that's probably sending this to the alphabet boys. You niggas is telling. You see what I'm saying? We know what you're doing and we see what you're doing and we see what you insinuating, man. And that's all I'm saying. So that's what we can't never get it twisted. You see what I'm saying? That's what I got said. Because if I don't say that, then you niggas going to keep on doing it. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Now, we won't have to tell you again. Now, I'm just saying, y'all peep the transition. Drop them comments, man. And is this doing the right thing?